In 2019, just 22 years old, Egan Bernal became the first South American winner of the Tour de France. And there's our overall winner, a kid from Bogota. Can you believe it? Two years later, the Colombian added the Giro d'Italia to his already impressive palmares. Bernal was all set to fight for Grand Tour victories for years to come, until a horrific collision whilst training left him fighting to stay alive. Pude haber muerto. De hecho, no, no, no sé cómo, no sé cómo estoy vivo. O sea, iba a más de 60 por hora y me estrellé contra un bosque estaba. I could have died. I've no idea how I'm still alive. I was going 60 kilometers an hour when I hit that stationary bus. I'd no idea what was going on, but I felt pain everywhere. Instead of feeling sorry for myself and trying to understand how I crashed, I was just grateful I was alive. I felt pain because I was alive. It's way better than feeling nothing. When I was on a ventilator, every breath hurt, but at least I could feel something. I could have felt nothing and been dead. When I woke up from the surgery, the last thing I could think of was getting back on the bike. After they told me I could have easily died and there was a chance I could have been paralyzed, I could only think about having a normal life with my family. In the intensive care unit, I started to move my legs again. I told my mom, I can move them again. And at that moment, I thought, if I can move them, I can also get back on the bike. It's been a really difficult year with a lot of hard work. Work behind the scenes, especially at the beginning. It was very difficult to walk, eat or take a shower. Obviously, the crash was a shock that changed my life. Sometimes cyclists isolate themselves from the rest of the world. They think cycling's everything. In 2019, it was either the Tour de France or nothing. It meant everything for me. It felt like if I didn't win the Tour, then the world would end. Obviously, the reality is very different. There's a life beyond cycling, like everyone has. Cycling's an important part of our lives. We're professionals, and I think we all like our job. But we have a dad, a mum, people waiting at home for us. And that's way more valuable than any Tour de France. I don't want to say that I've lost the will to win because I still want to win and be the best. I wake up every morning thinking about being the best, but I'm also aware that if I'm not, it doesn't matter. I have my family, I have my dog who's happily waiting for me at home whether I win or not. He doesn't care, he'll be there. My ambitions are, I would like to go to the Tour de France, to be there at a competitive level and give my best. I'd like to see where I can get to, and this is the reason I wake up every morning.